Hi! In this video I want to show you how to make a basic shader or material setup for your VRChat avatar, even if you have no clue about shaders. The goal of this is to have a solid setup that looks good in any environment or any world, a basic shader. Alright, so we'll start from the very beginning. Uh, in case you have no idea how to even get your materials, this assumes you just have your FBX with your model, imported it into Unity, into a new scene, new project, whatever, and then it looks like this. It's white, there's no textures, no shading, and you have no idea how to get it done properly. So at the start, I usually create a folder called materials. If you then select your model down here in the project, and go to the tab materials here, you can choose extract materials. Select your material folder, select it, and then it will extract all of the materials on your model into this folder and already assign it properly to your model. Now I want to put all my textures. In my case, I only have three materials, three textures. You might have a couple more, also in the same folder. Now we can select our materials and put our texture into each material. You want to put it into albedo, texture, color. This all kind of means the same thing and this is basically the base texture. So we do that for all of our free materials. One thing I also want to mention is that at the moment everything is already correctly assigned, but in case it is not for you, you can also just drag the material onto the model and then it will assign it. Or otherwise you can also uh, go to the mesh, select it here, and there you have materials, and then you can drag your material in there as well and it will do it. Also, if the extracting doesn't work, you can just right click, create material, and then you have a brand new material that you can also drag onto the model. Good. Now, you need to know we can edit multiple materials at once. So I can select one, control, and select others. And now I have all three materials selected and can edit them at the same time. So I want to change the color to white, which is also important. We don't want it to be influenced by anything else. It should be just a texture. Now we have these three materials all using the standard shader, which for VR chat and anime stuff doesn't look too great. So I'll be using Poyomi. It is a shader that can be very basic and optimized, but it also has a lot of features if you want to experiment around. So I will be using an old version because I'm comfortable with that, 7.3.50. Uh, the link to this is down in the description. Um, at the moment, the latest release, which was just 17 hours ago, also contains the 7.3.50 version. If it does not, in your case, you can just scroll down to the different versions and eventually you'll find one version that, uh, for example, this doesn't have it. Uh, scroll down 7.3.50 and download this. I already have it downloaded here and will drag it into my Unity project. This will give you a small window, click on import, and now this will take a while. I'll fast forward, this could take up to five minutes or something. Uh, this is fine. Okay, now that we have that imported, we select our materials again, and if we click on standard, we now have the option Poyomi 7.3, Poyomi Tune. And now it already looks a lot better. It's very flat, it's like anime, and it looks pretty good. We still have a couple more things to do. For example, at the moment, right after importing, it's a little buggy. You see rendering preset and it has a number. Uh, usually there should be a drop dropdown. Uh, I recommend just saving the scene and closing Unity, opening it up again, and then it should display the drop down properly. If we check now, yep, rendering preset, opaque, and then you have a drop down. So this is the case for almost every different shader that you can use, you will have opaque, cutout, fade, transparent, all of these different presets. To quickly explain what they do, opaque just displays the color of the texture and transparency is displayed as a color as well. So in this case, for example, you can see on the skirt, I technically have some frills here, but it still is displayed as white. 
in the texture, this is actually transparent. You can also see that here on the sleeves or here on the color. This is usually used a lot in Vroid models and textures. So if you use Vroid, go and select your material that is being used with transparency and change it to cutout. Now everything that is transparent will actually be transparent. However, cutout does not support partial transparency. So for example, you may have seen something like this before, where you just have weird red squares on your face, maybe with a black outline. Also maybe this where it's just really bad and weird because this in the texture is just partially transparent. So we want to select our expression material and change this to fade. You can also use trans clipping or transparent. I don't actually know the difference between those. Personally, I always use fade and this supports partial transparency. However, I recommend you to not use this if you don't need it because it can cause some other issues and it's also not as performant. Now, one more thing that you will have on almost every shader and it's called culling. It is usually under rendering options at the very bottom, there's cull and by default set to back. What does this do? At the moment, if I look under my skirt, the back side is not visible. Same thing for the sleeves. There's the sleeve, but if you look from the other side, it's not there. Also for the hair, theoretically you can see it here, but it's not displayed. So if I change this to off, it will render both sides of the faces. And now you can see the back side of the hair. You can see this back side and on the skirt, you can also see underneath that the back side is being rendered. All right, great. This is already very good setup. It looks very anime-like, but it's also very flat. Personally, I still like to add a little bit of shading and shadows. So what I usually do is I go to lighting and reflections, light and shadow, and change from flat to tune. Now, right now it will look horrible because of a few settings. Uh, I want to change the ramp texture to math gradient and change the gradient end to one. That makes it a very smooth shadow. If we do it like this, it just has a lot more shadow. With this, it's a smooth gradient from start to the end. And the biggest issue is this shadow strength. This is currently at one. I personally like to use values between 2 point, uh, 0.2 and 0.5, depending on what color it actually is. So for the body, for the face, for the skin, you can see here, uh, I usually like to use a very low shadow strength. 0.2 is in my opinion pretty good. You still have some shadow detail, but it's not too distracting. And for clothes, also depending on the color, you can maybe go a little bit higher. For example, let's see if we go to 0.4 on the dress, you have a little more shadow detail and yeah. In some scenarios, this looks a lot nicer if it's not completely flat, but also has a little bit of shading. Also make sure that ignore ambient color is not ticked. Now, one last thing I want to mention. Sometimes you will experience if you have multiple meshes, I have the body and the face, that they will behave different. For example, your head, your face is very dark while the rest of the body is looking properly nice. Uh, this can be fixed with anchor override. So you want to select the mesh of your avatar. And I personally always drag the spine bone into anchor override on all of my meshes. This will basically tell every mesh that the spine bone position is being used for the calculations of the shading. And therefore all of it will be uh, unified and look exactly the same and there won't be any hard cuts. All right, that's already it. Uh, Poyomi is capable of much, much more. You could go into audio link and specular reflections, metallics, matcaps. It can do so many things. So if you want to experiment, feel free to do so. This video was just meant to show you a very basic and solid setup that works for everything. Um, yeah, I hope it could help you. If you liked it, I'd appreciate a like and a comment, maybe some feedback if you have some. And other than that, I wish you have a good day. Bye bye.